Hey taters, it's been a while, not as long as the last time, but oh, I gotta tell you, our world is uh, quite uh, unique, I guess, in what's going on. Unique is probably not the right word for it, but without doubt, um, the forces of uh, law, order, and status quo uh, are being challenged by the forces of chaos uh, because they think it's a good time to do so, I guess. Uh, and these things are happening and we, we can look to, or maybe we should look to, uh, the God Tiwaz, who pretty much is all about law, order, and maintaining the status quo, because chaos, you know, only, only will operate when that is not around, and obviously, the law and order part of life on this planet is being weakened so chaos comes out when it thinks it's it has a great chance remember the god t was or tear is the guy who gave his hand up to fenris wolf to maintain as long as possible law order and status quo uh, in midgard and asgard to you know, bind up that wolf the best way possible, and the only way it was going to happen was for him to make this sacrifice. So <clears throat> we have this situation going on, and it certainly it certainly doesn't help when um, you have 24 hour a day, seven day a week news cycles everywhere we are inundated with this news and it's unfortunate because some of these uh, news uh, casts don't just contain the facts they also contain opinion which you know who cares what Joe Blow says just give me the facts ma'am and, and that's pretty much it but those opinions only make our situation worse and the situation I'm talking about is our state of mental being because uh, <laughs> this, this, this can drive you crazy. I, I was talking to a psychologist friend of mine just the other day about this and uh, I was told that it's important that we get away from the technology for a while and it, I know it's ironic because I, I couldn't make this video w w without the help of this uh, galaxy phone that I'm using and and so that's the irony of the situation and and this doctor was was going into that uh, he's been seeing a lot of patients who are very very stressed and who have a lot of anxiety uh, about life and about what's going on well, and, and then we talked about something that I have been talking to people about for a long time, and that is taking that phone and just putting it, turn it off, put it in a sock drawer, and, and get out in the nature. Like right now, uh, my dog and I, Jack, um, we're, we're sitting in a place called uh, Lobet Park, which isn't that far away from our house. I mean, it's a beautiful little park, and, and it has a lot of wooded area. Uh, oh, acres of it, and for the most part, uh, if you get if you get to the park at the right time of day, like we did yesterday, um, the deer are out running around, and they get quite close because, well, they're living in the city, and nobody's going to shoot them, but they're having a good time, and watching these beasties, uh, and and all the different birds we have here. It is is very relaxing and the other thing is this wind as it pushes its way through the trees it rustles the leaves and when that's all you hear that, that that's uh, that's almost like 
I don't know, lullaby to some people, and that includes me. So, once again, nature is something that we have been taken away from, and it's only getting worse. We, we are a part of nature. We are a part of the environment. The gods are. Our ancestors are. You know, the land whites, the animals, the birds, the bees, the rocks, all that stuff. Uh, get out there and sit for a while because the, the way things are, I, I only see technology um, growing and even almost replacing humans in some cases. Uh, and uh, it's like for some people, technology has become God or a God. And, and uh, the appliances uh, like the phones and so forth. Uh, or like the archangels of this God. And we really need to reconnect with nature, you know? We're coming up on winter nights and Yule, and this is when the time uh, of our cyclical year, supposedly uh, the veil between the wor world, so to speak, is thinner. Uh, by all means, now is a good time to start start thinking more about your ancestors, because they're pretty much right there watching you, kind of, sort of, you know, hoping that you do a well, and they're they're uh, excited about your your progress in life and your successes, and you know, not happy when you when you have a setback or whatnot. But the, the, the I see her over there, gods, I mean, it's all part of our natural order of things. So, I'm going to turn off this phone real soon and just sit here and, and watch the wind push through the trees. And maybe I can convince you that way that Maybe that wouldn't be a bad thing for you to do, too. So, hey, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a good like. and Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And by all means, Bish Bader Taters.